Here are 55 of the worst things Trump did during his presidency. Since Donald Trump left office just over a year ago now, he has moaned that the election was stolen from him and said he should have won. These claims have been widely disputed but even if they were true it is worth remembering what he was like as a president, and why he absolutely should not be one again. So, here are 55 of his worst tax when he held office. 31. When he cut a pandemic early warning program in 2019, now the president doesn't have to be mystic meg but it does seem to show a worrying lack of forethought that Trump cut a program that would issue early warnings of pandemics in September 29. The first known reported case of coronavirus occurred just two months later. 32. When was accused of revealing classified information to Russian ambassador said one U.S. official to a Washington Post reporter about a meeting Trump had with the Russian ambassador and and foreign minister. He revealed more information to the Russian ambassador than we have shared with our own allies. Apparently Trump's loose lips even jeopardized a mole inside the Islamic State. Awkward. 33. When he nominated a climate change skeptic to chair the committee advising the White House on environmental policy. We can't say that Donald Trump doesn't take climate change seriously, but we can say that he withdrew from global commitments to tackle the issue, once tweeted about needing a little of that good old-fashioned global warming, and nominated climate change skeptic Kathleen Hartnett White to be his top environment. 34. When he removed protection status from 59,000 Haitians, forcing them to return to disaster ridden Haiti by July 2019. In November 2017, Trump ended a humanitarian program that had allowed 59,000 Haitians to reside and work in the U.S., as the country still tries to recover from 2010's devastating earthquake which ripped through its social fabric. Katie is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, money sent back home from expats is a lifeline. Worse still, in 2020, the forced deportations of Haitians continued during the pandemic, despite human rights activists warning that Trump was essentially exporting coronavirus to a nation that would not be able to cope with an out 35. When he retweeted anti-Islam videos from the deputy leader of Britain first. Trump's busy fingers on social media often displays that he doesn't really think or check things before he shares them on his official account, which is a worrying thing to consider when you are talking about the U.S. Perhaps the most disturbing thing that Trump has ever shared on his timeline was a series of Islamophobic tweets from the deputy leader of the far-right group Britain first back in November 2017. Trump Trump did later apologize for sharing the tweets, telling Piers Morgan in a television interview that he knew nothing of the group beforehand, adding, If you are telling me they're horrible people, horrible, racist people, I would certainly apologize if you'd like me to do that. Point 36. When he cut corporate tax to its lowest rate since 1939. If you are interested in things like corporate tax, then you might not be surprised to learn that Trump has opted to favor the biggest companies in the world rather than the everyday blue collar worker that he pretends to appear. On December 22, 2017, signed in the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, which reduced taxes to somewhere between 35 and 21 percent. Reportedly the lowest the rate had been since 19. Trump even falsely bragged about this being the biggest tax cut in history, saying in April 2018, we have the biggest tax cut in history, bigger than the Reagan tax cut, bigger than any tax cut. It was actually only the eighth biggest in U.S. history. Regardless, under Trump the rich get richer and the poor stay the same. 37. Allegedly referred to the likes of Haiti and El Salvador as s whole countries. 2018 got off to a hell of start for Trump when he reportedly called countries like Haiti, El Salvador and nations in Africa s holes during a meeting with congressional leaders, according to the Washington Post. Trump said colon dot, Why are we having all these people from s whole countries come here? 
Why do we need more hate? Take them out. Trump was widely condemned for his comments, but a few countries used the president's ignorance to their advantage, with both Namibia and Zambia using whole countries as part of their promotional material for tourists. 38. When he accused Democrats of treason for not applauding his 2018 State of the Union address. We all know by now that Trump is a very, very sensitive man and can't take the slightest criticism against him. However, to accuse Democrats of treason for not applauding his 2018 State of the Union address is a bit of a stretch. Yet that's exactly what he did during a speech in Cincinnati, Ohio in February 2018. 39. When he oversaw the longest government shutdown in U.S. history. Between December 22, 2018 and January 25, 2019, almost nothing happened in the U.S. government due to the longest shutdown in United States history. The reason for this? Because Republicans and Democrats failed to agree on the federal budget, mostly over disputes about Trump's immigration policy and his border wall which still hasn't been to show you how hypocritical this whole situation was here is a Trump tweet from less than 12 months before complaining how bad a shutdown would be for the military. 40. When he tweeted that the FBI had failed to capture the Parkland school shooter because they were spending too much time on Russia. Trump's failure to tackle gun violence in the U.S. is almost as bad as his inability to accept responsibility for anything and point the finger elsewhere. In the aftermath of the Parkland school shooting in Florida in February 2018, Trump attempted to blame the FBI for the massacre, claiming that they were spending too much time investigating his alleged collusion at a time when his people needed him the most. He opted to look the other way. Shameless. 41. When he mocked the testimony of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, who accused Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault. When Trump's Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh was accused of historical sexual assault by Dr. Christine Blasey Ford at a college party in 1982, Trump did what any decent president would do. Speaking at a rally in Mississippi in October 2018, Trump appeared to suggest that Ford was drunk on that date as an excuse to pour scorn on her claims. Kavanaugh denies her allegations. 42. When he separated migrant children from their parents. Of the many scandalous things that Trump has done in his presidency, the separation of children from the parents at his controversial detention facilities at the U.S.-Mexico border was probably the worst. Evidence had emerged of migrant children literally being placed in cages at the facility, something which Trump tried to blame Barack Obama for. In June 2019, Trump official Marsha Brown even tried to argue that said children didn't need to be safe and sanitary. Point four three. When he blamed mental illness and video games for gun violence. As we have already mentioned, Trump has failed to do anything about gun violence in the U.S. But in August 2019, he did find something to blame mental illness and video. Speaking after a weekend where 31 died after shootings in Ohio and Texas, Trump criticized gruesome video games which celebrate violence, adding that mental illness and hatred pulls the trigger, not the gun. The problem here is that one of his first actions as president was to scrap a regulation introduced by Obama that made it harder for people with a history with mental illness to purchase a gun. 44. When he peddled a conspiracy theory about Joe Biden and Ukraine. Towards the end of 2019, Trump began spreading and widely debunked conspiracy theory that as was the Ukraine and not Russia that had interfered in the 2016 election on behalf of the Democrats. During an interview on Fox News in November 2019, Trump said, A lot of it, they say, had to do, they say had to with Ukraine. It is very interesting. It is very interesting, they have the server from the DNC. You know, the FBI's never gotten that server. Why did they give it to a Ukrainian company? He also tried to tie Joe Biden to this theory that linked the former vice president's son, Hunter due to the work he had done in the Ukraine. This led to Trump trying to obtain information on the Bidens from the Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky an act that eventually got Trump impeached. 
45. When he sprayed Black Lives Matter protesters with tear gas so he could attend a photo op. As the Black Lives Matter protests escalated across the United States following the death of George Floyd at the hands of police officers, Trump decided to show no compassion or words of solace or peace. Instead, he ordered the military to hit protesters outside of the White House with tear gas just so he could walk a few meters across the street and hold up a Bible outside of a church for a shameless photo op, a stunt which left the church's resident is why did Trump do this? According to CNN, it was because he was upset for being mocked for being rushed into a bunker by the Secret Service after riots broke out near the White House.